Happy Friday, everyone. This is Kristen with Intentionally Nourishing. I wanted to share with you an awesome processed free meal uh, that you can share with your families this weekend or next week, um, and your kids will love it. Um, what it is, is it is almond crusted chicken strips, or you could cut them into chicken nuggets, and then some baked potato wedges. Um, I pair these two together because they cook at the same temperature, so it's nice to kind of find foods that you can cook um, that overlap. And also, you know, most of the time if you're eating out, your kids want chicken and fries. And so this is a really awesome healthy alternative. Um, what you're going to need, I get organic chicken breasts at Costco. I found that that's the best deal. Um, sometimes they're cheaper at Whole Foods or other stores when they have a sale. And I take my kitchen scissors or kitchen shears. That is one utensil in the kitchen that is a must have. Um, I use my kitchen scissors all the time. They've lasted me at least 10 years. Um, I use it to cut up chicken or cut up bacon, you know, before I cook it. Um, I use it to cut up stuff after meals. You can cut up veggies with them. You can cut up, you know, your kids' sandwiches into quarters. They're awesome. So I take and I cut the chicken strips into half inch, um, strips. I just cut lengthwise down the breast. You could also cut the width wise if you wanted them, um, smaller. And you want to make sure they're a good half inch. Otherwise, if they're too thin, then they're going to get really dry. Um, and so depending on how many you need, last night I did two big chicken breasts and it made about 12 chicken strips, I think. Um, so it can be a good one to double up and then put that chicken on salads. And all it is is just taking some almonds, throwing them in the blender. Um, you can throw in some Parmesan cheese, um, some salt, pepper, and I like to put thyme in there. Um, and then you just put it in a shallow bowl, you know, to, uh, coat your chicken strips in the coating and then anything you have left over, throw it in a Ziploc bag, label it. I made the mistake of not labeling something in the freezer and I made my husband a pizza with what I thought was pizza crust, which was actually gluten-free pie crust and it was disgusting. So I always label things now. Um, and yeah, and then you can use it for next time. So it's even a great idea to double the recipe the first time because you're just blending, you know, almonds in your blender. And then the next time you make it, it's even faster. And then with that, I just cut up uh, potatoes into into wedges. So I cut them in half, cut them in half, cut them in half. And um, I use organic potatoes because organic or potatoes is on the um, dirty dozen list of the uh, vegetables with the most pesticides. And potatoes are not very expensive, you know, anyways. So it's not a big deal there. And you know, you can coat the, you can put, you can season your potatoes a lot of different ways. So number one, you want to coat the potatoes in oil before you bake them. Um, a lot of oils become rancid or change their structure in high heat, even olive oil. So we typically use avocado oil from Costco. You could use coconut oil. Both of those oils withstand high heat. You do not want to use vegetable oil, canola oil, soy oil, corn oil. Any of those oils are just full of GMOs and super toxic and they become really toxic when you cook with them. So if you can, you know, that would be a good thing to remove from your pantry um, for safer cooking. Um, you know, avocado oil works for great for baking. The other one that's good for high oil is grapeseed oil. Um, that's another great one that you could do too. Um, last night I seasoned our potatoes with paprika, thyme, salt, and pepper. You could do, you know, you could do sweet potatoes the same way. You could do cinnamon, rosemary, salt, and pepper. Um, you know, be creative with your spices. You can't really mess it up. So I hope you love it. I hope your kids love it. And this is a staple in our household, especially for a quick, easy, um, meal. So happy Friday. Hope you love it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.